welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're coming back again to see me. Thanks. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. So today I'm pocketing. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm pocketing. I'm working on this uh, folio, folio journal thingy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thingy. Okay, so like I told you before, this is all back together now. It's my, um, you know, I took it all apart and then I did what I needed to do and then I put it back together. Really nice. This is a, um, what do you call that? It's like a furniture repair strip and it's soft. <laughs> it's like you want to pet it, you know. Sorry. Anyways, I'm being silly now. Okay, um, so I've been working on this and made a little progress. So I thought I'd show you what I've done and then we'll do some pocketing. Okay, I put the, I really like this element. So I put that there as my, it's going to be my closure when I get everything together, right? Um, you know, this, the big flap for the big pouch. Because that is still a very huge I don't know if you can see that. It's a very huge pouch in there. Okay, so what I'm putting here, I need something to hold that open now. Let's see if that'll work. Is I told you I was going to do a flippy flappy thing. Well, I've got my flippy flappy thing together. Move this up so you can kind of see it. Um, it's going to be, you know, this way kind of thing. Come on, behave yourself. Um, opening this way. And so I thought, since it's going to be a flippy flappy kind of thing, an element that opens and then opens again, I'm going to make it hold something that is sort of, you know, flippy flappy too. So what it does is, I don't know, let me see. Um, it opens here, and I'm going to put one of my little corner tucks there. That's a secret writing spot. Um, and then it opens again. All right, there's going to be a flat pocket here. As I said, I'm pocketing today. All right, so, okay, we're moving over. I'll show you that in a minute. This side has this. I'm just going to leave this for journaling because it's just so nice and, you know, I don't want to cover that up. So, there you go. This is going to have a gusseted pocket here and a flat pocket here. So, there's that. This side I'm not going to cover either. I'm just going to leave that one. And someone could write a little note there if they wanted to. It's just pretty. So I'm going to leave it that way for journaling. Okay. So in the middle. In the middle. What we've got is. A, a big pocket. That's really big and deep. Because it holds this. And then we've got a little side tuck pocket here. Uh, and that'll be. That'll. All this is going to have lace all over it. You know that if you've watched any of my videos. So this is a, a my version of a waterfall journal. I'm not saying that this is how you do it. This is just how I do it. Okay. <laughs> so I started with my papers. I have one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I didn't count them beforehand. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eight, eight pages of paper. And so that gives you um, 16, 30. It gives you a lot of writing space if you want to use it. I'm using it more as a what you would call a lookbook kind of thing. You know, it's a <clears throat> it's going to be decorated. Okay, so on the on one page, it's got the decal edge. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a really a uh, nice little edge, a deckle edge. And then the next one has lace. And it's that way all throughout. Um, so, yeah. And it's got the same two pages from the kit all throughout. Because I didn't want to have a lot, you know, of difference in that. I wanted it to be very, I don't know, matchy-matchy, cohesive kind of thing. Because I'm going to put, there's a lot of things to put I'm just saying. There's a lot of things to decorate with on these and stuff. Now, I'm not making pockets on this today. I am. I do have a thing. Let me see. Where did I put that? Here it is. This is going to be my front. So we can put that on. 
Um, and then we're going to do pockets. So let's do this right quick and then we'll do pockets. Okay. Ooh, where does that go? I have been sort of just quietly working away on my, um, on my project this morning and you know how you think oh it's this time and that time or whatever and then then it's not anymore and the day just kind of gets away from you because you've been so immersed in what you're doing well that's been kind of my morning this morning <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just me maybe that doesn't happen to other people it happens to me and I go oh well it's that time of you know whatever Okay, so I think I'm going to do it like this. I think I had it differently before, but I think I like it like this. Just sort of layering it up and giving it some something for the front. This may not be all I put on the front, but I think this is pretty simple. I'm trying to keep a lot of things sort of simple in this so that the, the beauty of the papers and all the different elements and stuff are just you know there so okay yeah I'm gonna put this down first I backed everything on um oops let me put this to hold my finger I backed everything on uh file folder so that I would have some uh dimension maybe is a good word for it when you do digitals, um, you don't always have all those fancy things like you do with uh, the paper packs that you buy. Those things are pretty cool. This is my way of sort of making the little cut apart chipboard pieces. <laughs> In my mind, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> it may not be that way for everyone, but that's that's how I think of it, right? Okay, straight-ish, right? Ish is good enough. Then we're going to put this here-ish. I just like that Santa with the little girls. It's so cute. I know it's just an old vintage picture, but it's sweet, right? So, now someone could make this a tuck spot or whatever if they wanted to on the front of this journal, but I'm not going to. Like I said, I'm keeping this one really simple this is loud uh, so I'm, I'm just keeping it simple for this because I don't want to detract from the the pretty of the papers and such just hold that a second because it is thick uh, when you put file folder on the back of something it gives it a little bit of oomph that's what I think of anyways uh, yeah, that'll flop down now, but I want to roll this just to make sure I've got all my bits and pieces down. Now get back up there and behave yourself. Hey, okay. I even backed this too, so, so it would be, you know, a little dimensional. It's okay to add some dimension. Not a whole lot when you're inside of a journal, but, you know, it's okay. On the outside for sure and another thing with this one I do want to keep it fairly flat even though I'm saying dimension and all this stuff this is flat dimension <laughs> if that makes sense at all flat dimension anyways it's gonna slide into this pocket and I don't want a lot of stuff catching I made the pocket just to where it'll be up to the lace right so pretty yeah I like that. Okay, so here we go. We're going to stick it back in its home and and hope for the best. We don't want to have too much dimension in there. See, it goes right up to the lace and that's good enough. Okay, so let's start pocketing, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this one first. We'll work from left to right, okay? <laughs> sort of, maybe. Okay, so on this one, it's just my little tuck spot. That has secret writing spot that nobody would know if they didn't know, stumble upon it or whatever. 
because I'm going to put a Velcro dot in there to hold it down, right? See, it kind of, it's just a shadow one. It, it lines up with what's already there, and you can't really tell unless you put something in there, which I will. You know, there's a lot of uh, little tags and um, things in this uh, kit, so of course I will put something in there. All right, let me get a Velcro dot because I do want it to stay down there and behave itself, right? Okay. I'm going to just stick this one up here. It's I backed these, a lot of these on just some, uh, there's some backing papers in the kit. But this one has uh, just a light vintage uh, thing that's in my own stash. Okay. So we have that. It is pocketed. <laughs> okay. I do like to do Velcro, you know. Okay. Excuse my reach if I got in your way. Okay. Now we've got that. Let's see. Oh, we've got one here. I knew there was another one. This is just a flat pocket. I just thought, well, you know, gussets are good, but when you're trying to do something like this, you really don't want to bulk it too much, right? So I'm just going to put a flat pocket here, and I'll put some lace across there, of course. Of course. Because I don't want to be not me. <laughs> I have to be me. Okay. All right, here we go. And this is going here just to be a little tuck pocket, a little flap pocket, so that you can, that's going to flop down again, so that you can have a, a little bit of ephemera in there, right? Okay. Now, I'm just going to put this over you because that way it won't, it'll be fine. Okay, we've got that pocket and that pocket, closing that one up so we can move this over and be in shot, right? I think, yep. Okay, so this is leaving blank. This is having a gusseted pocket, so we'll start here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm just gluing these because, yeah, it's fine to just glue sometimes. When I start putting this thing in the... um. In the folio, I will use the double stick tape to, uh, to hold it in there in place. But until I get to that point, I like it being out to where I can move around, move it around and do stuff, you know. Uh, when it gets in here, you're having the whole thing to deal with, so I prefer this for now and then I'll you know then I'll get all serious with it with the um with the tape I need a flat surface please okay hold that down a second so that it grabs Okay, now I'm going to put some glue over here, get this one in. Then we've got one more in this element to put in, and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, there it goes, right in there. Let me move a little bit more. I need some room here. When you're working on a really big thingy, <laughs> Uh, you're always trying to adjust and move and figure things out and yeah I don't do these really big projects very often but I had this laying around so I needed to use it I'm sure that makes sense to somebody okay so we're gonna do just another flat pocket here this will hold you know, not a lot, but it will hold uh, 
a uh, a journaling card or a tag or whatever like that. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this kit. These are just, you know, papers from the kit. So I made them into pockets. I think this is one of the journaling pages. Yeah, in that other journal. Sure is. Okay. Now we've got that in. And I do like this little tuck spot. It's going to have lace on it so you can see it easier. Okay, now we've got that one and that one and that one. I'm going to have a, a thing sort of close-ish in here so I don't detract from the, from the pretty of the papers. So I'll have something here to close it with when I get to that place. Now I'm going to stick it in its home and it can just lay there and pretend, you know, Let's see. I don't want to knock things off as I readjust for the other side. Um, let's see. If I'm getting in, I'm gonna move this over there because that's gonna create a craft a lanch. Okay, I'm going to do. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> I've got, to, I've got two pockets over here and some tags that came from the um. From the kit these are actual pockets in the kit and so I'm gonna do these it's a pocketing kind of day right this is not straight okay sometimes you have to you know reteach things to to behave themselves and I may have to do this a couple of times to get this to to fold straighter. I don't know. It's a little straighter. I'll keep working at it. Okay. Now this pocket's going to go over here. And I may put it right up there. Because why not? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this. Take my tag out. Now put this down. And you can change these pockets up, what, however you want to use them. I think they're cute. If you were going to use it as a, a window pocket, you could uh, put some vellum or acetate or whatever packaging you have laying around. You can do all that. Um, I'm going to put this down and try not to scare myself all at one time. So... I have it uh, pressed together really well, so hopefully, hopefully it will be fine and behave itself. I left the window open because eh, I thought I might use it as a stacked pocket with some of the other um, ephemera that's in the kit. If that makes sense. I mean, you can put something there. Or you can put this in there, I'm on, and then put something else. Where's that little thing I was going to use? Come on. Then you can put something else. I don't know if that'll fit in there. See, that was my thought on that I could do that. You know, and it you know it works right as another little extra pocket yes I'm gonna do that okay let me put this I'm sort of auditioning them where I want them to to sit right so yeah I want them to sit right there why is that crooked okay not straight <sighs> okay Again, like I said, just you can adjust these however you want them. She put um, the she put pattern on this side as well, so you can use them, make them bigger, smaller. That's that's my thinking. When I see something like that, I can go oh, well. I can expand that pocket or just use it 
you know, where it folds and do that. Whatever you want to do. Okay, just trying to get it straight-ish. Yep. A Merry Christmas, it says. Can you see that? I don't know. This is such a big project, really. It's uh, like, well, okay. That's really big. Okay. I did it to myself. Sometimes I like a little challenge, you know. Okay, there you go. Now, this is going to have a closure here as well. Because, you know, it opens up to show this journal. And like I said, those pages that I were uh, using over there to make pockets are in here. Yeah. Matting and pockets and different things. They're all in this, uh, in the journal pages for this kit. So, yeah. It's really pretty. Okay. So, yeah, this one's going to get decorated as well. I don't know that I would have it as a writing journal. You can write in it, of course. It's got paper. You can write all over it. But I'm going to have it more of a, just a playbook, I guess. Does that make sense? A playbook? <laughs> uh, okay. So, we've pocketed and pocketed and pocketed. What did I do with the other thing? Here it is. Okay, we've got our flippy flappy thing that goes over here. I think that's going to look really nice. Uh, and this is going to have a closure that's going to go down here. This is going to have a closure. This is going to have a closure. So it'll all be kind of tucked together. Cinched in, I guess, is my plan. <laughs> so, let's see what we can... We've got all kinds of bits and pieces to I still got to get the corners off those tickets let's see that's really pretty so just so somebody knows that that's a thing and that's oh I need a bigger one for that let's see Ooh, will this fit that's the biggest one that's too tall isn't that yeah that's too tall for there let's see about this one there's so much in this kit to you just you want to use it you know okay so we've got that I don't know if you saw that me and my trying to stay in shot so I put one there I'm leaving that and I put a, a thing a tag there I'll probably put eyelets and things I'm just do you ever go through and just organize stuff and just say I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and that's what I'm doing just organizing things, right? Okay. Let me see. This one's still too big. Close that up and get in shot. Uh, I like that one there. That's pretty. This is still too big. I'll use it over here on the other side. Okay. Maybe there. And maybe there. That one will hold, you know, a lot. Ooh. Will that go? It won't go there either. I'll find a place for it. I will. Okay. I might put that behind there. That's kind of cute. I'll find I'll find or make something to tuck in here because you know you gotta you gotta tuck pockets. You gotta put something in it. Okay. You just don't want to bulk it too much because you gotta you know have it to where it'll close right. I'm thinking about making some itsy bitsy pockets uh, to go somewhere, and that way I have I have a bunch of little tiny tags, you know. And I've cut them out and backed them on on file folder. <laughs> They're just dang cute. You can put a little teeny pocket just about anywhere, right? So I'm got I've got some more planning to do for this uh, folio journal. Lots more stuff to put in and figure out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, we've got this side and this side with some pockets and tags and journaling cards and such. <laughs> 
it's so pretty. Uh, I'm glad I got the opportunity to um, to work with these papers. Nanine did such a great job uh, putting it together. I love the vintage look. Uh, so yeah, it's it's so much fun. <sighs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of rambling and pocketing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, take care. Oh, and please like and subscribe. That would be awesome of you if you do that. Uh, thanks for watching. TTFN.